File Locations tab of the Options dialog box. Let's go up to the Application menu and go to Options. Let's go to File Locations. First is our Project Template Files. Uh, these template files appear in the Recent Files page. And so we have four template files. And we can place these in order. If we highlight them, we can move them around to the order that we would like to see them in. So typically, we want architecture to move up. So that is our number one template. And then we would go perhaps with construction. And then, you know, maybe mechanical might go up and structural last because we probably don't have the, uh, the, the beam analysis and the column analysis and the statics and the dynamics and all that kind of good stuff, the math to go with all that. So we can put those in order. We can also place the default path for the user files. So this is set up when you install uh, Autodesk puts all these paths in, but you can change them after the fact. You can just browse to another path. And uh, this is where I typically place some of my documents anyway. The default path for a family template. So when we make family such as that bookshelf that we're going to design on our own, uh, and because we can't find the one like the bookshelf we have, we're going to design our own parametric bookshelf. We can place that in a folder of our choosing. Uh, this is where uh, by Windows and Autodesk uh, they would like it. Also the root path for point clouds. Remember a point cloud is when we take a scanner and we scan an object or objects and we get a millions of data points and that's placed in this location. We can also go to the places button which will bring up our libraries and here we have an imperial library and these are various types of libraries of of components and symbols that we can bring in to the to the uh, application and also we have a detail library of various details of uh, pre-drawn details are set in these locations and so those paths are already found so in case we've moved them or something like that but I would leave these things alone in particular uh, of this is placed all these things and put all kinds of pointers to these files moving them around would, would only cause uh, some issues with your software. So uh, these are your file locations that you can control in your options dialog box.